Merry Christmas everyone and let's hope it's a really good one. Now I'm sure you're all aware of what an eco-friendly company Pavers is. In fact their commitment um, to sustainability is so important to them that they've actually been credited with being the UK's first major shoe retailer with carbon neutral status which is fantastic. In that vein, in that spirit, we thought we'd bring you some Christmas crafty videos, Julie's Christmas crafts, to keep Keep up the good work. So first off, why not upcycle a paver's shoe box da, 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 into a stylish gift box, okay? Or like this one, which we're actually going to focus on. First of all, you've just got to take some wrapping paper and wrap the box as neatly as possible. What's going to really help though, what's going to transform it is using double-sided tape. You can get it everywhere and it's really, really worth investing in. Sticky on one side, you peel the white bit off and it's sticky on that side as well. Much better than using ordinary tape. It will really, really help. And if you've got a few edges that you're not happy with, like this is beautifully wrapped, but that edge is a little bit rough, You've got a technique here which is really, really helpful. You can buy um, this tape, which is like sellotape, except it's sort of glittery, really, and it just literally peels off, like so. In fact, hold on a sec, I've got a better bit. Here's one I prepared earlier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel that off like that, and I'm going to put it just here to cover that nasty edge and it does it in seconds. If it doesn't stick too well, you might want to add a little bit of glue to help matters. Um, but at the moment, it seems to be behaving. And therefore, in one go, they see much, much better. Right, okay, you can also use a stamp, which is really, really good. Kids and grandkids will love joining in with this. You can get stamps everywhere. You can get little foam backed ones, little kits there. You can get wooden backed stamps. And um, you can even use one I prepared earlier, okay, um, a potato, a sweet potato. And I carved this this morning, something very, very simple. Obviously, um, better for an adult uh, to carve it if a kid's going to use it. Um, and then you just put some paint in, again, recycling, upcycling. This is my coffee cup lid from coffee this morning. Crisp box that I had last night, a crisp tube. Um, you're just going to do it. I'm actually going to try this tree because I really like this tree. And what I'm going to do is just be careful, just literally rub the paint on quite lightly. You don't want to splodge it everywhere. And then I'm also going to transform a matching gift tag because that will really make it a special gift. Okay, just here, try and line it up. It doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect because there's a great charm um, with something that's homemade, always is. But there you go. So a little tree there and you can even, you can even, you know, put trees all over your box. I actually quite like this paper. Um, it's got little sort of houses on already, so I'm not going to clutter it up. It's up to you basically. And then what you're going to do is fill it, all right, with gifts. You can even consider making a hamper for a loved one or a neighbour or you can pop in there we go. Some pavers goodies, of course. I've got a pair of little slipper socks here and, uh, and gloves. I'm going to pop those in. Don't worry if the inside of your box is a bit of a mess. As you can see, I'm using this, um, this recycled uh, cut-up paper or just good old tissue paper padding it in. So don't get too worried if the inside of the box isn't perfect. Wrap it like that. There you go. And then just take any odds and ends you've got hanging around. It really is all about recycling. You can, of course, buy new ribbon as well, but I'm just going to wrap this. So I'm going to make sure it's even like that. OK, and then I'm going to do that first of all, fold it over. I'm going to cross it there like this. Da, 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 da. I'm going to turn it over again and you should have roughly even for a bow. You can adjust it if it's not quite. This isn't bad. Okay. And then tie your bow. Like that. 
that. Nice little bow. And as a really special touch, it's all about making it look as professional as possible within the fact that it's homemade. And what you can do is make your ribbon do that in half and you're going to cut up like that and it's got a lovely edge to it. Do the same. Really, really helps if you have sharp scissors, <laughs> which these aren't. Okay. There we go. Da, 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 da. And it just looks, and you can trim it as well if it's not quite perfect. Okay. Then you can add all manner of things. You can add little um, felt Christmas puddings, which I've bought. Get the children to cut out things, stars, Christmas trees, anything you like, holly. You can add those, just stick them on. Or you can get really creative with little pine cones, whatever you like. I'm actually in love with these uh, pieces of orange, which I just... Um, I've just dried in the oven, literally slice an orange, put them on a low heat in the oven and wait till they, um, they dry and they're great. And then all I've done is threaded some baker's twine. This is baker's twine, always looks really festive. I've threaded it through. I'm gonna thread some more through like that. Double it over like that. Find a little hole, poke it through. There you go and bring the string through there. Yeah! And then we're just going to put this under like that. Tie it round. Da, 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 da. Okay, cut that off like that. Add the other bit, you know, you know how it's going to be. And it's just something really simple and sweet. And in minutes, literally, you have transformed um, a simple shoe box into a stylish gift box. Merry Christmas.